What's my favorite thing about you? That's a long list, you know what I'm saying? The favorite one, though, I would say my spirit. It appears that Nipsey Hussle has been shot and he is confirmed to be dead at this point. Um, I was coming home and I'm supposed to be on a social media break, but this is very, very sad news. This is very sad news, something that, you know, I mean, Bro, this shit, this shit is so fucking crazy. This shit is so fucking crazy. Look, y'all, it's deeper. It's deeper or whatever than than all this shooting. You know, they 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 did that shit or whatever, so everybody can say or whatever that the shit game related. But it, it's really, it's really not, it's really not game related. You feel me? Like that little jewels that you saying, and then that's what I like. Like I said, the medicine really is in the candy because even when you drop a ball, like about Dr. Sebi. Yeah. Like just that one thing, they killed Dr. Sebi will make somebody go research who Dr. Sebi. Lady, you feel me? Like, everybody think that, everybody think that, oh, oh, Nipsey Hussle, Nipsey Hussle uh, got killed uh, because he was in a gang. See, that's what they want y'all to think. Nipsey Hussle got killed because he was doing that documentary uh, on that doctor, on that doctor, the one that said he can cure, he can cure AIDS. And then all of a sudden or whatever, he got found dead. He got found dead or whatever in... Why, why you think they he killed had, him? Why do they kill all holistic doctors? Right. Messing up the medical industry. It's, you playing, you short stopping that grind. Why do mm -hmm. niggas get killed for hustling in front of a nigga's spot? You short stopping the grind. Mm -hmm. And th these niggas, they check is billions. Mm -hmm. You got niggas that get flipped for a couple hundred thousand. So you playing with some pharmaceutical money. You know, and what's crazy, I'm, I'm working on doing a documentary on the trial of, in 1985. And I don't know if this is related or not, but if you guys remember, um, Nipsey Hussle, he started working on this Dr. Sebi project. And um, a lot of people were like, you know, Nipsey Hussle needs to be protected. Um, he was working on this Dr. Sebi documentary. And if In 1979, I think it was, uh, you were uh, you were charged in New York City with practicing medicine without a license. And I would advise my viewers who might be questioning your authenticity that you won that case. Now, what were the, so the charge was practicing medicine without a license and claiming that you had a remedy to cure AIDS, cancer, and diabetes. So the question is, how did you win that case against what some people say are the toughest prosecutors in the land? In the land. Well, it was 19, it was 1987. 87, not 79, 87. The 10th okay. of February. Okay. My mother knew they were coming. When I told my mama that I had cured my 13 AIDS patient, she said, they gonna get you. They gonna get you. Man. What makes you want to do a documentary about Dr. CV? I I think the story is important. I think mm -hmm. it's a powerful narrative. It is. You know what I mean? And I think if, imagine this, anybody in this room, if I could say, hey, somebody cured AIDS, y'all be like, yeah, right. And then I can show you an example of him going to trial and proving in a court to a jury that he cured AIDS. Y'all yeah, be interested in that. Let me stop you there. You said I cured my 13 AIDS patients. Yeah. So you had 13 patients yeah. who had AIDS. Yeah. And then you say we cured. you cured them. Sure. So <laughs> my mother said, they're going to get you. I said, but mom, why are they going to get me? Because. You must remember that you live in a society that support a certain philosophy and a certain system. You being the color that you are, black, and then you're going against the grain, they're gonna get you. Absolutely. Absolutely. And y'all would look into the way he did it, right? So I feel like more so than like championing his products or explaining his methodology, put some light on that case. So. When I'm in my office on February the 10th, here come the detectives. You were charged with practicing medicine without a license. 
selling products that are approved by the FDA and claiming to cure AIDS and other diseases. Mm -hmm. I said, yes. Well, you are making a fraudulent claim. I asked the detective, how do you know that? Because because you were advertising in newspapers. Of course, I advertised in the Village Voice, the Amsterdam News, and the New York Post. And you were telling people in your through your advertising that you can cure AIDS, sickle cell, lupus, herpes, blindness, diabetes, paralysis, and others. Uh -huh. Okay, so they come knocking on the door and, and so it knocked on my door and took me to jail. But the funny thing about it, I was happy. I was very, very, extremely happy. When everybody in my office was crying, I was happy because my mama told me they were coming. And I knew that I had sufficient evidence to prove my position, not only scientifically, empirically, historically, and whatever way they would like, desire. So while I was in jail, I'm saying, I wonder what defense they would have against me. Yeah. I would like to know, <clears throat> but I didn't blame the Attorney General, Mr. Robert Abrams, mm -hmm. because why should he accept for me the statement that I cure AIDS and sickle cell yeah. and blindness yeah. when no one else has ever made those claims? Mm -hmm. The man had a right to arrest me, but he was making a mistake. So I'm sitting in jail and I'm happy. When I got out of jail and I began to, when I went in front of the judge, I asked three questions. And they were? They were, Your Honor. You defended yourself? Of course I did. Okay. Your Honor, is it a fact that the Holy Bible teaches that the herbs are for the healing of the nations? She said, yes. Is it a fact? that science shows that the human body is carbon-based and to complement a carbon-based body, you must have a carbon-based substance to complement it because the body only accepts the substance through the process of chemical affinity. Mm -hmm. Chemical affinity is important. It's an electrical transfer. Chemical affinity. Okay. The body could only accept what it is made of, mm -hmm. not something new or alien to it. Mm -hmm. Last question. Your Honor, is it a fact that the father of medicine, Mr. Hippocrates, the man that established the principle of medical science today, cured every disease known to man? Did he use herbs or chemicals? She said, herbs. I said, thank you very much. I rest my case. Okay. Go ahead. So I understood that the state were unprepared to defend itself. Mm -hmm. They were unprepared because in the past there was 2,781 cases that came before the Supreme Court and lost. Yeah. I won. Yeah. Not only did I prove scientifically, but I had these diagnostic sheets, and I do have them today. Uh -huh. And I, those diagnostic sheets didn't come from me. They came from their schools, their American credit, accredited, medical accredited school. Were, did I read it correctly where there was some requirement for you to actually bring patients, a, a patient into court from each of those maladies and that you brought multiple patients in court who one testified themselves and that you had medical medical records one showing that they were victims of the disease and then showing that it had been cured by one doctor and then a second doctor verifying what the first doctor had said yes we have to remember this that <clears throat> Whenever you make a statement that goes against the grain, you better be prepared. Mm -hmm. You better be prepared. The judge said that I had to bring one of every patient that I had cured, and there was one that said others. The others was a man that came from Italy. He was paralyzed. But I took 
I was supposed to take nine. I took 77. 